Well, good morning, my friends. Cindy Eriks here uh, with Robert Henderson's 365 Prayers and Activations for Entering the Courts of Heaven. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Coming to you from Ocean Township, New Jersey. I hope that you are well today. So the topic today from Robert, he gives us in this devotion, is called Known by God. I like that. Don't you want to be known by God? So the scripture reference, uh, the main reference anyway, is from 1 Corinthians 8 and 1 through 3. It reads like this. Now, considering things offered to idols, we know that we all have knowledge Knowledge puffs up, but love edifies. And if anyone thinks that he knows anything, he knows nothing, yet has he ought to know. But if anyone loves God, this one is known by him. Again, that was from 1 Corinthians 8, verses 1 through 3. I like that. Now, this is what Robert has to say today. The real revelatory knowledge of God never puffs up. When we have gained understanding from the spirit of knowledge, we will not be arrogant. We will have a love for God. If the knowledge we have makes us proud against people, this knowledge has been derived from the spirit of knowledge. It can be from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that we are not to eat from. That's referenced in Genesis 1, uh, 2 and 17. We are told that if we eat from this, we will surely die. Knowledge that puffs up will lead to spiritual death because of the arrogance that it creates. The knowledge comes from the Spirit of God that brings intimacy with the Father. And that brings life. Amen. We are told that if we are proud in our knowledge, that we know nothing yet that we ought to know. We are still ignorant in our pride and false self-esteem. We must repent and ask for the true knowledge of the spirit of <clears throat> knowledge to birth in us an awareness of who Jesus is and his ways and Jesus' ways. So this is Robert's prayer today. Lord, as we stand before your courts, we ask that any and all pride derived from eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil be revoked. Lord, we only want the knowledge that births a love for you, not an arrogance against people. I confess, God, that I am no better than anyone. In fact, I ask that I might become the servant of all men. In Jesus' name, amen. And the, ser the, the uh, servant of all men is referenced in 1 Corinthians 9 and 19. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So this would be my prayer today. We thank you, Lord, for, the, for this day, God. We thank you for everything that, that you have in it for us, God. Lord, help us to follow you, God, to not be puffed up in, in our own self-esteem and our pride, God. Help us mirror your image today and that the knowledge of who you are in us, God, and who you are would uh, just prevail over every aspect of our lives, God, with our families, Lord, and our homes, and our business, and our bus places of business, God, and any conversations that we have. I pray that you will help us to just settle down any rise in the self-esteem issues that we might have, God, and being puffed up, Lord. Help us serve. Help us be servants in every 
everywhere we go, God. Everywhere we go. Help us to serve in one way or another. There's many opportunities, I know. And I thank you that you provide many opportunities, Lord. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for the knowledge of who you are. Thank you that we who love you, we're known by you. It's good to be known by you. You're a good, good father. In Jesus' name, amen. So, go with a smile from the heart. I'm telling myself that as much as I'm telling anybody that. Trust me. These trials we will have, they may come daily, they may come a little more infrequently, but they will come. And we need to count them all joy that we grow closer to God in all of them. James 1, 2, one of my favorite scriptures. Um, amongst many of my favorite scriptures, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're well today and uh, that you go in peace and love and forgiveness, gentleness, and kindness, and patience, and lowliness. I love you, but you know, he loves you so much more.